Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week. Uh, nope. <laughs> this is your reading for the next three months. I'm way off, Gemini. Uh, but this is going to be your second quarter 2021, April through June uh, reading. We're just going to jump right in here. Your first row here is going to be uh, your general energies for the next three months. Your second row is going to be messages from your future self, anything that your future self wants you to know about the next three months. Uh, your next row is any unexpected good news that could be coming in for you here. And your last row is going to be uh, any messages that your guides have for you for the next three months. Uh, also at the end, Gemini, I am going to pull three uh, extra cards. These are going to represent yes or no questions, but I'm also going to answer those three cards as if I know what your question is. So kind of like a personal reading almost, but uh, we'll, uh, I want to see how it works. So that's what we're going to try it. And if it doesn't resonate, doesn't resonate. Plain and simple, right? But uh, we'll see what happens. I will give you time to pause the video and yada, yada, yada. But enough chitter chatter. Let's get this going here, Gemini. And let's see. This looks really nice. So definitely a lot of good stuff coming in for you here, Gemini. So I like to see that. But let's see here, Gemini. You start off in your general energies. You have the power card. So I feel like you, you are extremely powerful at this time is what I would say to you here. You have two cards, flexibility and standstill. I do feel like some of you see something you want, but I feel like you have to be flexible to get it. We even see this right here. We have the Page of Cups, the Moon, to the Wheel of Fortune, to the Queen of Wands here. It's kind of like, <laughs> I get, like to me, this is one of those moments right here where it's like, it's like maybe you had something you wanted. Could have been a person, could have been, you know, a job, whatever. And then it's like there was some uncertainty. I feel for some of you, you lost a person here, but it's like here's the return right here, the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, I wouldn't really say this is like an ex coming back, although I do feel like it could be for some of you. And it's like something is coming back. Uh, for others, I feel like you just have a lot of power uh, at this time. I feel like you're setting yourself free from a standstill. You have the Page of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles here. Definitely could be marriage or a proposal coming in for you at this time. Uh, if you, you know, obviously if you're meeting someone new with the Page of Cups, then uh, this could just say that this new person that you're meeting will lead to marriage in the future. So for some of you, clearly this is going to be new love coming in and it, you're not going to marry them necessarily over the next three months. It's possible, but you know, I feel like you're probably going to marry them in the future is what this reading is saying. Uh, for others, I feel that this is a path that you're on. Four Wands card of freedom. It's like you see something that you can't ignore is what I feel like saying. These people are celebrating on the other cards. It's like you're over here, you know, but it's like you see people celebrating over here and you're like, why am I over here? <laughs> that, that, that's literally the question that's popping into my head right now here, Gemini. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're asking yourself, like I, I feel like it's, it, it's almost like a spectrum that's popping into my head. For some of you, I feel like your you know, life is okay. You know, it can always be better. For others, I feel like you're like suffering over here. And I feel like these people are like, why are you suffering? Like we're over here having a good time, celebrating, doing all these things. So it's, like, it's almost like you're waking up to some sort of new reality. Um, which is very interesting. Even in this row here, uh, you know, I, I put everything together when I do these readings, even though these are separate questions. Uh, even here, you have the coffin. The coffin is about a new life. And you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a change in your fortunes, but it's also your destiny. So it's almost like you're waking up to something that's going to set you free with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is like 11-11. You know, there's two wands on either side here, and it forms 11-11. So I feel for some of you, it's kind of like divine timing. And that's why you're probably finally setting yourself free here, Gemini. Uh, for others, it's like maybe finally you're getting a solid offer that allows you to set yourself free. I say that because of the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, not a solid offer. <laughs> the Page of Cups, he has a fish in his cup here. He is imagining that fish. So it's something imaginary. It's not, it's not something that exists just yet. You know, so I feel for some of you, the reason that you're finally being set free is because you're like finally receiving a solid offer, whether it's in love, business, money, spirituality, doesn't matter. For others, again, I feel like you've been holding yourself back from something. And it's like, you're just saying to yourself, why, why have I been holding myself back? I should, you know, I should be moving towards whatever this happiness is. So it's almost like you're, um, I, like, I feel like you're no longer kind of being a victim of yourself. Does that make sense, Gemini? That's what's popping into my head.
Uh, let's see here, Gemini, what we have for you. It's almost like you've been punishing yourself is what I'm getting. It's like you've like been punishing yourself or something, and you're realizing you don't have to do that anymore. So let's see. You have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Something you've been wishing for is coming in for you here. You have the Temperance card. Yeah, be patient with yourself in a lot of ways. It's going to require some change. Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, it's like you finally have the resources necessary to experience this freedom that comes with the Four of Wands. Or it's like you finally have the resources necessary to set yourself free. So I like to see that. Some of you could be a Sagittarius that's making a love offer to you as well. So I definitely feel that. For others, I feel like it's just like requiring change, you know, in a lot of ways with the Temperance card. It's so weird. It's like something you have always wanted, you know. That's why I get this weird feeling. It's like I, I, I like I, I, I wanted to say this is an ex coming back, but I was like, no, it's like it's not. It doesn't have those. It doesn't have the same vibes. I don't do X back readings in the first place, Gemini, for the most part. I mean, does it show up in readings? Yes. Will I mention it? Yes. But, um, you know, you know, um, I kind of get that feeling. It's like you were with a person you always wanted. Somebody left or, you know, take it how it resonates. Could be them. Somebody left because of confusion. Now they want to return or you want to return. Take it how it resonates. Um, and so if that makes sense to you, uh, I feel like, you know, it could be this person right here. You even have the judgment card here as well. Very interesting. Uh, for others, I feel this is just total abundance coming in for you. Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles is like total abundance. You're becoming more abundant just financially. And it's probably because you're um, really tapping into your skills. The Temperance card is a card of being self-reliant. You know, it's a card of being kind of like a jack of all trades. Um, and I feel like that could be very good for you financially. Definitely a wish coming in for you here. That, that Page of Cups is, like I said, imagination. I feel like you need to realize you can have whatever that is as well. The reason I say that is because of the moon right here. So let's talk about it. In your next row here for from messages from your higher self, you have the leg up card. I feel like you need to realize that you're going to be getting some sort of leg up here uh, over the next few months. So I definitely like to see that. Yeah, I think you need to move away from this here as well. I, again, I get this punishing vibe for you, Gemini. Really good reading. <laughs> But I get this thing about like punishing yourself or putting yourself in a position where you're being punished from by like another person or something feels like a punishment. I feel like you need to remove yourself from that situation. Some of you, I keep getting this word stuck, 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 stuck. It's like repeating in my head. So for some of you, I feel like you feel stuck in a situation for whatever reason. I feel like you need to set yourself free. Uh, you have the moon, the six of wands, judgment card, major success coming in for you. I like this. I feel like your higher self wants you to know there's like good news and success coming in for you. But I feel like you need to believe that it's possible as well with the moon card here, Gemini. The moon card is, you know, to me, the moon card can represent illusions, fantasies, all these other things. But I'm getting more of this like need to manifest something here on earth. The moon represents a period after a full moon. And it represents a period where we could have these innovative thoughts. We could be thinking about new things that we can create in our lives or new things that we want to manifest. And the moon says, well, you have to go start the journey. You know, this is part of the fool's journey. You have to go down this path and you need to not get distracted is what these two pillars say. These, the dog and the coyote represent a warning uh, to the fool on, on this path, but they're warning him to not get distracted. So I feel like for some of you, it's like saying you can have whatever you want if you go down the path, if you keep following the uh, correct path as well. Definitely success coming in for you. Again, I do feel for some of you, you could be hearing from someone from the past or you're gonna talk to someone from the past here with the judgment card. But really what I would say is that this is you uh, waking up to your true purpose. Judgment, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, those two cards together, judgment is like a wake up call, but it's also your purpose. The Wheel of Fortune is your personal vision for your life or your destiny. So. In a lot of ways, I would say this is your destiny, this whole entire reading. It's like you're moving towards something that is your destiny. And it's not just one thing. It's not just like love. It's, you know, multiple things in your life that you're moving towards here, Gemini. So let's clarify. You have the Empress. Definitely a lot of success and abundance coming in for you. I feel like someone still loves you here. So, or you still love a person. Uh, for those of you who, uh, who, where this is new love, again, I feel like I'm just talking about abundance coming in for you. Nine of Wands, a lot of desire coming in for you here. And the Six of Swords, major improvements coming in for you as well. Like I said, a lot of improvements. Uh, I love two sixes. Um, to me, this is just your higher self or yourself in the future is basically telling you that you're on the right path. Two sixes says you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction here, Gemini. Uh, for others, I feel like you're being guided as well. Uh, you have it, It's funny because in this row here, messages from your guides, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands just literally is saying, listen to communication from your guides. And you have the Six of Swords. This guy right here, he represents a guide. He goes back and forth between choppy waters. So I feel like your future self 
wants you to listen to your guides, wants you to listen to your intuition and things like that as well. A lot of success coming in for you here. That Knight of Wands is like really saying, go on the adventure. Knight of Wands is part of being spontaneous and just being open to spontaneous opportunity. And I feel like your future self wants you to be open to random moments as well, random opportunities. A lot of abundance coming in for you. Uh, next, for any unexpected good news coming in for you, you have the coffin. The coffin is about a new life. Basically, the coffin is always closed. The coffin says you're inside the coffin. You need to open up the coffin. Judgment. These people are rising up from the ground, from coffins, Gemini. I feel like you need to open up the coffin, step into your new life here. I get this, like, maybe that's what this message is, you know? Because like I was saying, I was getting this weird message about going back to the past. I was like, is that an X or is it just going back to the past, right? And maybe that's what it is. I think that's what it is for you. It's not. It's like you didn't go, I don't think this is saying necessarily that you're taking someone back. I feel like for some of you, maybe you got a little bit scared. It's like you got a taste of a new life. You got a taste of something new and then you went back home. I'm not saying literally home. I feel like maybe you tried something new and went back to a comfort zone here. I feel like some of you are getting a second chance in this row. And that's like the unexpected thing that's coming in for you is a second chance to kind of move more towards your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. And it could be moving towards anything. But again, it's almost like you were in the coffin, your old life. Maybe you opened the door in the recent past. You took, you peeked out, maybe you stepped out, but then you hopped right back in the coffin because maybe fear who knows? Could be anything, right? And I feel like you need to get out of the coffin. I feel like you need to nail that M F -er shut is what I would say to you. Um, so there you go. I'm not going to swear on YouTube, but uh, I would nail that thing closed is what I'd say. That there's snakes in there. I feel like there's gross bugs, like all sorts of stuff living in that coffin. This, amazing. Everything this way is good. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, Six of Swords. You're being guided away from this. Again, you are being called out of a coffin, the Judgment card. So I do feel there's like luck on your side with the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Wands says, start the adventure. You will be successful quickly, Eight of Wands. So I, I, like I get that energy for you here. I almost feel like you've been, like maybe you feel like you've kind of tricked yourself. You know, it's like you defeated yourself out of something. That, that's how the words are popping into my head. So it's like maybe you entered into a situation and you just assumed that it wouldn't work out, whether it was a relationship, a business, a job. So it's like you went back into your coffin. I feel that for some of you, you're, the second chance you're getting is to try whatever that was again. I feel like this is saying like, don't be your own worst enemy. Sometimes I think we get into situations and we leave them because we're just like, oh, this isn't gonna work out, even though we could be wrong. So I feel like you need to try something. I feel like saying try it with this energy. Super powerful here, Gemini, I would say this row. So let's clarify it and let's get some more details. Gemini, two of pentacles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, ultimately you have a choice, right? It's like, I can't tell you what to do. The cards can't make you do anything either. So you have free will. You have the death card. It's gonna be a major transformation for sure. And you have the magician, major new beginning. You attracted this into your life. For some of you, I feel like this weird feeling that it's like you attracted something into your life, could have been love. And it's like, maybe you walked away thinking that it wasn't right, but it's like you attracted exactly what you wanted <laughs> here with the magician. The magician is pointing towards the queen of pentacles here. So I feel like you need to realize that there's like opportunity here and you have the resources necessary to make this a success. You also have the two pillars from the moon show up on the back of the death card and the sun is rising between those two pillars. So it's almost like you're coming out of this moon period here, Gemini. I feel like you're entering into a period of success, abundance, luck, wheel of fortune, you know, good things coming in for you. So I really like this for you, Gemini. A lot of good stuff coming up here. I feel like you need to put the work in. The two pentacles says you have a choice. You know, it's like you could totally um, just stay in your current life. There's nothing wrong with that. Or, you know, you can make the choice to kind of move more towards your destiny. Wheel of fortune has a feeling about it. You know, wheel of fortune, scary, but you could be thinking about something when you're daydreaming and you get very excited about it. You know, when you're, when you're not like really focusing on it, that's how you know that it's for you. It's like, if you think about something, you really focus on it and you're feeling fear, it could just be anxiety. But it's like, if you're daydreaming and you start getting excited about something when you're not really in a space to be worried about it, that's how you know that something is your destiny. I feel like you need to move towards whatever that is. I get that feeling where it's like, if you're logically thinking about something, way too scary. But if you're kind of like daydreaming, kind of like not in your mind, you know, it's like very exciting, much better. And I feel like you need to move towards that. Uh, next, for any advice from your guides, you have the body and soul card. Obviously, take care of your health with this card is what I feel like it's saying. You have the beyond the ordinary card. There is an opportunity that is coming in for you. That is your destiny. That is beyond the ordinary, something you have not uh, been 
you know, experienced in a long time. That's probably why some of you maybe went back into the coffin because it, again, it's like whatever was outside of the coffin and was your new life and, you know, just not what you're used to, right? You have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. I really feel like your guides are saying, need to boss up. Queen of Wands is bold, assertive energy. She represents needing to be bold, needing to be assertive, needing to stand up for yourself. She also represents wholehearted energy. She basically says you cannot fail. I get this like fear of failure here. You know, it's like maybe you went back into your coffin because you were afraid to fail. So you, you like ended something or quit something. I did, that's the feeling I get. I feel like the Queen of Wands says, if you put your heart and soul into something, you can't fail. You can't lose with this energy. You have the Eight of Wands, quick success, Queen of Pentacles, you have the resources to do something. So I feel like your guides want you to know that you are more than capable of accomplishing something. I feel like you also need to listen to your messages, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands says you need to trust your intuition, but I feel like you could be getting messages in your dreams or your daydreams that are trying to guide you at this time. And I feel it's going to be very, very important for you to listen to those messages uh, with the Eight of Wands here, Gemini. But uh, Gemini, let's see what is going on for you here. Ten of Swords, if you need to let go of the past, a lot of luck coming in for you here. I do feel like, you know, a lot, the Ten of Swords has shown up a lot in these uh, three-month readings. Uh, the Ten of Swords to me can be a difficult ending, um, but really I feel like it's your guide saying, you know, something is dead done over with, it's time to move on to uh, the future, you know, probably your past life, whatever is comfortable. You have the Justice card, Balance coming in for you. you I literally, I just did, I don't remember who I just did, but they had Justice in the same exact position. Uh, justice is cause and effect. And I do feel that over the next three months, a major energy we could be dealing with is just like, if something's going to work, it's just going to work. We put energy in and we get energy back. If it's not going to work, it's not going to work. For some of you, it's like, I feel like your past life here, it's like you're stuck in a situation that just doesn't work. You know, if it's love, I feel like there's a lot of chaos and fighting. If it's in business, I feel like there's a lot of chaos and fighting and competition. You know, like all those things are popping into my head. So I feel for some of you, this is just saying, if something's going to work, it's going to work. If it's not, it's not. Plain and simple. And uh, you have the sun. What do you know? Moon to the sun right here. So definitely going towards the sun. I feel like you're moving towards happiness. You're like the 10th sign that has had something about going towards the sun. So clearly, we're all moving towards more happiness. I feel like there is more happiness in general uh, in these kind of like three-month readings for everybody so far. So I feel like you could be feeling more happy, feeling more abundant, feeling like things are working out for you here as well. So love it, Gemini. That looks really good. Uh, so Gemini, we're going to pull three cards here. Uh, these are going to represent three uh, questions. So feel free to ask three questions. But we're going to do uh, one, two, and three. And feel free to pause the video if you need time. But basically, I'm going to come up with questions that you have, and I'm going to answer these as if I know what your question is. I'm also going to give you a quick yes or no as well. So for card number one, I would say yes, uh, Meta wants. So whatever you're asking, I would say yes. And for others, I do feel like some of you need to be more spontaneous. I already said it. So whatever you're asking, I feel like you need to be more spontaneous and be open to different ways of doing things. I feel like you need to take the risk as well. You have a lot of these wands cards like this showing up here. Uh, the Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, you have the Page of Wands right here. So I feel like you're protected from any risk. Uh, for card number two, I would say yes if you're patient. I feel like some of you are trying to decide, should I stay or should I go? In a situation with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles says look at your results. It's a card of analysis. Normally I say don't get stuck in analysis with the Seven of Pentacles, but I do feel like analysis would be very beneficial for you, card number two. Uh, for card number three, I would say yes, Knight of Pentacles, if you put the work in. Knight of Pentacles, one foot in front of the other. Uh, for others, I do feel like this could be you. Um, I, like, I feel like someone's too cautious here. Someone's being too cautious. I feel like someone needs to take a risk. I feel like someone needs to put themselves out there. It could be you. Uh, but I would say yes on that card as well. So this looks pretty good here, Gemini. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you over the next three months. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Gemini, and definitely enjoy the next three months.